So today, guys, we're at HMP Preston. You all right there, officer? Yeah, very well. How are you? Uh, yeah, not bad. Have you got anything to say about the healthcare worker who caught smuggling drugs? Uh, part of the uh, six gang um, of inmates that were smuggling drugs into the system? No comments? How long have you been working in the system, guys? Oh, you're right, guys. How long have you worked in the prison? Have you worked there long, mate? Is there much corruption inside? Uh, is there many assaults on staff? Guys, HMP Preston, it was built in 1790. It holds 760 male uh, prisoners. It's a category B prison. Um, it takes prisoners from the Lancashire uh, Preston area. Yeah, guys, this prison, um, it was used by the military during the war between 1939 and 1948 when it was converted back into a prison. It was uh, re-rolled as a Category B prison in 1990. And then in 2001, it was revealed as, as the most overcrowded prison. I got it, I got it. <laughs> There's a story here, guys, of an healthcare worker named John Burt. He was sentenced to four and a half years for smuggling drugs, phones, clothes, etc., to a, a gang of five inmates. So yeah. All right, guys. Nothing to say about John Birch, the healthcare worker who caught smuggling drugs in. Nope. Nothing to say at all. Officers, do you have anything to say about John Birch, the healthcare worker who caught smuggling drugs into the system? And do you condone that behaviour of the healthcare worker, John Birch, caught smuggling drugs? Why are officers in this prison organising um, smuggling rings, guys? Please keep our system safe. Please do not sleep with inmates, missus, and guys, please do not smuggle drugs. We know it's tempting. Don't do it. Stop corrupting our HMPs. You alright, mate? Have you got anything to say about John Birch, the healthcare worker who caught smuggling drugs into the system? Nothing about it. At least this one can speak. Guys, we're just out protesting against corrupt prison officers. No, so you're not bothered? You don't care? Well, it is because you're representing the Crown, aren't you, by working in prison service. Just asking you, I'm not saying it's all to do with you, what, what uh, John Birch did, but I'm just trying to ask you if you condone that behaviour and you're saying no comment. Very simple to say that you don't condone smuggling in the system to say that you're a prison officer and you just say no comment. And this is what we're up against. But we're coming down on it. Uh, we're making petitions, it's going to get signed off, we'll get down to Parliament and hopefully the Ministry of Justice will be able to put a bit more money into the system, yeah? Top up your wages, you won't be tempted then into corrupting and... Because um, by corrupting the HMPs, do you know what you're doing? You're killing people. Yeah, you're flooding them prisons with drugs, not you guys, your colleagues. Flooding them prisons with drugs, right, and people are dying. People are getting into debt from buying drugs and getting killed or killing themselves. And that's why we're out here. And you see you're grinning to each other. You think it's a joke? This isn't funny. People's lives are on the line. All right. Keep our system clean, guys. You all right, mate? Any comments to make on John Birch who were caught smuggling drugs into HMP Preston? He got four and a half year sentence. Oh. Hi mate, we're just doing a little documentary on John Birch. You said you didn't know anything about it. Uh, do you condone officers smuggling drugs into the system? Are you against that? No comment? I like putting it on these uh, prison officers' toes. Um, I, I, I've seen corrupt prison officers looking very scared in front of my camera. And I, and I see corruption in them. And by doing what, what I'm doing, right, it's going to make them bastards think twice. 
There's no help in there, guys. Apart from a 60 pound release grant when you get out and then you have to go face the world then. Many of those people um, re-offend within the first couple of weeks. Respect guys, thanks for watching once again.